that we give decent dwellings to the people of Kenya, especially the vulnerable, especially the disadvantaged, those who live in slums without toilets, without electricity, with no sanitation. We've taken on that assignment because we have decided a different pathway for Kenya. Rather than lament about our situation, we have taken on the responsibility to do something about it, however difficult it may be. We have taken on the responsibility of universal health coverage. I know two successive presidents have attempted and they didn't quite succeed. Two successive governments have attempted, they didn't quite succeed. We have decided that we are taking on this challenge because there are too many Kenyans that die out of illnesses that we can treat. There are too many Kenyans who end up in squalor and poverty because of hospital bills. We have decided that this time round, we must get it right and make it possible for every citizen, irrespective of their financial status, that they can get the highest level of treatment in Kenya. <laughs> Difficult, yes. But rather than lament about a not so working NHIF, an NHIF that has bills dating 10 years, 15 years, we've decided to correct that situation. And I promise you, we will confound the naysayers. We will succeed. <laughs> this country will not fail. This great nation that God has given us will succeed. The enemies of Kenya will be put to shame because we are going to succeed and we are going to take this country forward. I am persuaded and I am very clear and I am focused on making sure that together with all of us working as leaders in the Republic of Kenya, and all of us understand the more authority you have, the greater the responsibility that rests on your shoulders. And the greater the responsibility you have on your shoulders, the higher the accountability that you are judged by. So all of us must work together towards making Kenya succeed.